section, let's begin with how we are going to deal with, manage, adapt to the various stressful situations that life will have to offer to us. Stress, as we understand by now, is going to be there, is essential, is going to create demands on us. It's almost something that we need to live, adapt, learn, and grow. So stress is not something that we want to entirely do away with. While all of this stress is present, we also should constantly be mindful that we do not want this stress to become larger or create demands that we cannot handle. So while this stress is important, while this stress is perhaps omnipresent, while this stress is something that we do need to give us a little nudge and a push, we also need to be aware that we do not want to operate only out of stress. We do not constantly want to feel stressed out, burnt out, breaking down. We want to be functional, operative, growing, and actually also vibrating and flourishing. And for all of this, we need to start knowing how to manage and deal with this stress in a healthy, happy, and astute manner. The next slide that I have is actually a putting together of uh, various kinds of researches, my own practice, and the many years of reading and writing about stress. This I have actually created and made where stress and its management does not end at just the various techniques that we employ, but is a long process, usually circular in nature, which keeps taking us back and forth in realigning, rediscovering ourselves, in managing better each time that we actually deal with a new kind of stressor. So here the approach entirely is growth oriented, is wellness oriented, rather than being with the aim to just avoid distress. We are actually taking in distress to grow further. That is the aim of our last slide and of actually managing stress astutely well. Right. So these are the various um, junctures that we are going to cross while we deal with stress. Now, all the various techniques that we often read about, uh, read a book, go for a walk, physically exert yourself, learn new skills, all of these for me essentially come in the spectrum of relax. When we are trying to relax ourselves, what are the various things that we can do? But that's not all about managing the distress. The distress needs to be managed at a much, much more, um, in, in a much, much more holistic manner for us to move towards wellness from distress. And this is not where we should actually stop just by saying that we have dealt with the current stress. That does not mean we've managed stress. Dealt with the current stress usually just means that we have fire fought. We have just done some amount of fire fighting, but we are not growing with our stressors. We are not becoming better in our resilience. We are not becoming uh, more capable of handling greater challenges. So I'm going to go over this process. And it is uh, a process which actually is aimed to, as I said, take us towards wellness. So the first of this is review. Now, review is an activity which makes us relook intently at what we might have looked at earlier. Reviewing means to be able to, in detail, reanalyze, relook at the situation, at the stressor, at the event, at ourselves of what really is causing us the stress, right? So here we are when we are going to say relook. When we are saying relook, we largely mean that we are going to take a good, deep, intent look at what we might have looked at earlier. So the process of review is intently relooking at something that caused 
created the step. This review actually is also based on relooking my own self, relooking at what the stressor did to me, what are the physical symptoms that it caused, what are the anxieties that it kickstarted, what did I start doing when I start when I started feeling the stress. This is the process of review. The second is recollect, recollecting detail and myself recollecting what happened and how it led me to where i am so review and recollect is actually a process which i want to highlight and encourage before actually we begin trying to relax right so once we understand what caused stressors what, what caused stress inside of me and i'm able to see my own reactions and my own feelings physical reactions, the way I responded to it verbally, in behavior, the way my body responded to it. When I'm able to review and recollect, then I'm in a better position to understand what will help me relax, right? So relax is not something that randomly is about trying the various stress managing activities that we often find advice and long lists of but it should come with some background review and recollection. So recollection and review is also something that happens cyclically in itself. Review contributes to recollection. My ability to recollect helps me do a better review. So review, recollect, recollect, review, review, recollect, and then move towards relax. Once I have reviewed and recollected myself and and the environment understanding around me, I should try and push myself towards relaxation. Here there are various techniques that can help me relax. The first of the techniques or the first aim of the technique is actually grounding you in here and now. So all of the techniques that tell us take a deep breath, drink a glass of water, sit down, do a little bit of exercise. All of these actually help us ground ourselves in what is happening here and now. So now the review and recollection after some bit of relaxation will also change. So review, recollect and relax. This relax will help us recollect and review a little better, a little differently. Now, what all can we use to relax? This, remember, is also something which is very individually tailored and motivated. Things that relax me might not be very relaxing to you. I might want to sit all by myself, think, and just take some time out. Somebody else might actually relax better in the company of others, might want to actually go out, meet some people, discuss, and this actually helps them review and recollect better. Some people relax better after they've had a physically exhausting session of a workout, a good walk, a good day at the gym, whatever to each his own, but also in times where we are not very stressed, it's a good idea to actually find our own go-to places for relaxation. What is it that relaxes you? What is it that relaxes you particularly? Something that works for your mother might not work for you. Something that works for your best friend might not work for you. Something that works for me might not work for you. Something that works for you will work for you. And try to know that what is it that relaxes you? So review, recollect, relax. Once we have been able to do these three, we are already at a much better place of control vis-a-vis -vis the distress. We have been able to review, we've been able to recollect and garner some control and relax ourselves. It's not over here. It seems to be, but it's not over here. So review, recollect, relax, 
not over yet. We are going to grow with it. We will reconnect. Reconnect to what? Reconnect to what I was before the stress and how I have been able to change, learn, adapt to this stress and move beyond it. Right? Reconnect also to people who will help me understand myself and the stress better. Right? This process of reconnection can usually could and should involve some amount of interaction with something beyond me. Reconnecting to the environment, reconnecting to nature, reconnecting to my friends, reconnecting with my therapist, reconnecting with my teacher, reconnecting with my students, some connection which is beyond just solitary myself. This will actually help create a process of reflection. Reflection is my ability to critically evaluate my own relaxation and reconnection. So review, recollect, relax, reconnect and reflect. This process is pushing you towards growth out of distress. You will review what caused it, how you responded to it, recollect your circumstances, environment, your own reaction, relax by means of internal and external mechanisms, reconnect to both yourself and others, reflect on your learnings and new skill sets, and then realign. Realigning is a very important process of actually beginning to understand that I am greater, much more than just the distress. I am able to grow, understand, reflect, reconnect all of what the stress brings to me and realign myself, reposition myself to be able to deal with this and similar kind of stressors in a better manner, right? So managing stress is not just about relaxation. It is also about reconnection, reflecting and realignment. Once I'm able to do this, my next stressor and its review will be slightly different from what I have experienced with this stressor, right? I want all of you to take a moment, reflect about the lots of stressors that you have already dealt with and what they taught you and how they have made you. Someone who is proud of the new skill sets, the new abilities that you have been able to capture, gather and attain because of certain important stressors that once actually appeared paralyzing, but you have been able to deal with them and grow out of it. And this realigning can actually further a very important concept that we have studied, resilience. This realignment actually focuses on growth, focuses on wellness. Stress is not about constantly being apprehended in distress, Stress is about being able to grow, is about getting closer to our idea of wellness. Thank you very much.